Good afternoon everyone, thanks for joining us today on Woman's World. Welcome also to Penny Lawson, how are you? Thanks Helen, I'm fine, you're all stripy and I'm you're all sort of tropical today. I'm <laughs> trying to will that really warm weather to stay with well, us. Well maybe <laughs> it might. <laughs> It'd be lovely wouldn't it, it's uh, always nice to see a bit of sun mm. this time. But the grass grows so quickly, that's the trouble, we get a bit of rain, a bit of warm weather. All Still. that wonderful gardening I did last weekend, and we had to go ahead Gone and do it all drain. again. <laughs> I must mention the very good news that uh, last week, of course, we gave away uh, a cake decorated by Jill Hogg, and we had too. a very happy winner. Her Isn't name was Miss Galway, and uh, very, very happy because mm. it's the first thing that she's ever won, and the fact that she's celebrating her 50th wedding anniversary in October. So it was really good to have a really happy winner. Isn't it indeed? And fancy mm. you drawing that, that particular one out of the barrel of all of those entries because we had <laughs> lots of people lot. looking for forward to that cake so mm. that's wonderful. That was great. Mm, so it nice makes news. you feel good when you can do things like that. Sure does. Mm. I know you've got a very busy day today yeah. so uh, we'll get straight into it. Okay? Thanks Karen. See you later. Coming up in today's show uh, Penny will be talking to Betty Dempsey about the Tatiara School's commemorative celebrations which are coming up in October. Also if you're thinking about what you're going to have for dinner tonight then uh, we've got some great ideas for you coming up in the next half an hour as well. But a special day was held at Heritage for the intellectually and physically disabled children in our area. That was yesterday, uh, on Sunday, sorry. This event was sponsored by the Kiwanis Club of Mount Gambier. And here today with us is Peter Mounsey and also Donna Freeman to tell us a little bit more about the activities. Welcome to both of you. Good afternoon. And uh, from Kiwanis, representing Kiwanis. I know it's been going pretty well, the club. Mm. Yes, it has actually. Mm. Um, we've got quite a good uh, membership now. And uh, we're noticing that probably each me uh, each meeting too that we're getting new uh, members, oh, so fabulous. it's coming on really well. Mm. But we're still looking for more people, right. so obviously we're quite happy to see more members. Mm. Well, Kiwanis Kids Day was held on Sunday. What is Kiwanis Kids Day? Donna? It's an international or worldwide observance by Kiwanis clubs. It yep. actually started in 1949 in America, and it's just to acknowledge the welfare of children in our community. Mm. A very, very important part of our community. Was it a, was it a fundraising program for Kiwanis? No, it wasn't. Um, it was a really good day. The children had a lot of um, things to do and it was a lot of fun. Mm. Well, the Channel 8 cameras were out um, at the Heritage Industry as well, so we've got some overlay of it as well. We might have a look uh, while we keep talking about the day. What did happen on the day? There was face painting by Yasmin Dunn. Oh, yes. Um, there was also... Uh, Tony Bill from the library came in and did some stories for the children yes. and there was also Lou Jones and he performed some of his magic tricks. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of talented local people getting involved and helping the Kiwanis Club out. How did the kids react to all this? They had a really good time. Um, they, they really loved the face painting. It was <laughs> something very different for them I think. And, and uh, Tony Bill was absolutely tremendous, as well as Lou Jones. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. I'm just wondering who's going to get all that makeup off <laughs> off the kids when the day's over. So I guess all in all, a very, very successful day for Kiwanis and for the kids out there at Heritage as yes, well. I think we all had a good time. Oh, it was great. great. We'd yes. like to thank all those people too that did help us out, the Holmes family and Lou Jones and Tony Bill and so on. They put in some of their time you right. know, to help the kids. And um, that's really what Kiwanis stands for, you know, letting the... Uh, yep the people in the town know that you know we're helping people in the town mm. and their kids and so on mm. uh, that's what Kiwanis stands for. Mm. You see the puppets going yes. away there. That's <laughs> the Muppet show that was put on by the Holmes right. family. It's like a, a great time to have both. And that that was really appreciated wasn't it Donna by the <laughs> It went down very kids. well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, very very talented though those people who helped us out. Now, Peter, are there any other projects in the near future coming up for Kiwanis? Yes, we have got quite a few things coming up at the moment, uh, Carolyn. Um, one of those, probably a major one that we're going to have to put a fair bit of effort into, I think, now that we've really gone into it, and we're doing a project for the Kongarong School. Yep. And we're making a tree house. 
Right. And they're preparing all the tree and providing the uh, all the equipment, and uh, we're rostering the the um, members yep. to go down there on Saturdays and Sundays and to uh, actually build this tree house for mm. them. Oh, and gosh. there's quite a lot of work in that. Um, you know, there's probably about six days work in it. More to a tree um, house than meets the eye. Well, that's eye. right. It, it's, <laughs> it's a very, um, a very um, ambitious project, really, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing that, I think. Right. And the people down at the Congaron School are going to provide us with lunch and this sort of thing. Oh, so great. They'll be behind us and we'll be <laughs> having a great time building this tree house. So, right. um, and my daughter wants one too, so I'm going down there for a bit of, <laughs> a bit of first-hand experience. tree houses forever. Yes, yes, I think that should be good fun, actually. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> All right. And that's coming up in November. Right. Um, also, next week, I think it is, we've got Senior Citizens yep. Week in the Mount, mm -hmm. and the Kiwanis Club's contributing to, towards that by holding a, um, a sort of lunch in the Cave right. Gardens. Right, I've got the um, 20th of October for that one. Well, I think, actually, it's between the 24th and the 29th Senior Citizens right. Week. Um, so I don't think it's actually on the 20th. I think right. there's a typing error there, but okay. anyway, <laughs> we'll let the senior let citizens know, know when it so is. Yes, they'll and we'll be able to join in. Right. And also we've got um, um, an adventure playground that we're going to be erecting in the McDonald Park School. Right. So, um, you know, we've got quite a lot Certainly on our plate at the moment and, uh, you know, we're quite excited and happy mm. to look forward to all these things. So I guess a lot of work uh, being done for the community and I guess you want to share the work around with as many members and you are, as you've mentioned, looking for members. When yes, and where the, do you meet? We're in the 30s now as far as membership goes, Great. which yep. is coming on really well. We're really pleased with that number. Great. Um, and as I said before, we are gaining new members really at each meeting, so that's really good. But we meet each, uh, the first and the third Monday of each month. Right. We meet down at the um, at Mount Gambier Hotel in the Swan Room and we start at about 6.30. Uh, it normally goes for about two hours and we have a meal there and so on. It's a really fun night. And a club for men and women. So oh, a club that couples can get involved in yes, as well. Yes, which is well really most good. of them are um, uh, father, son, um, wife, husband, this sort of thing. Mm. Most of them are couples. Great, so, club, uh, so I guess you'd uh, encourage anyone that does want to know more about either to go along to the meeting or give yourself a call or Donna a call and find out a bit more. Well, probably Barry Sims out at South East Auto. He's our membership right. uh, committee person, so he's probably the best person. Great. Or the president, who's Monica Burford. Great. To All ring right. either of those people. Or well, contact Channel 8. I'm sure you'll give them the yeah, numbers. I'm if, sure. We will. If yep. they want. All right. Well, it sounds like you've had a great weekend mm. uh, out there at Heritage Industries. So thanks very much, Donna. Thank thanks you. very much, Peter, for coming in. Thank you. And all the best with Kiwanis. Thank you very much. And don't forget, if you want to know more about the club, then just uh, ring those phone numbers or perhaps give us a call here at Channel 8. Well, now it's time for our Lizzie Lower Shopping Guide. Hello, lovely to be with you again. I do hope you'll stay around because I have a most important guest for you to meet today. And you know how we all love to look after our babies, right from the minute they're born, we care about them, we put them in pretty clothes and so on. But do we always think about their skin? It's the most important issue of, issue of all, especially with nappy rash and all those horrid things that little children can get. Sitting beside me, I have Rebecca Stimpson and Tom Lanny, and they're here to tell you about Sister Anne's jojoba oil. Hello, how are Hello, you? Hello, how are you? Hello, Good. Tom. Hello, how are you? Lovely to have you here all the way from interstate. I believe you're the brains of this marvellous product, um, but we're going to leave you sitting there and come back to you. It's ladies first. Uh, by all means. Thank we, you. we must be uh, gallant. Thank you very much. Rebecca, you have such a story here for the mums, haven't you? Well, I do, Lizzie. I mean, being a mother myself, and I know that you're a mother, when we had babies, there was the nappy rash, the crying, the cradle cap, everything. And, it, you know, it, it is dis uh, distressing to hear the baby upset. And we had to go out and buy the product for the nappy rash, the product for the cradling and all these sorts of things that'll Sister, do all of those things. Sister Anne's Loving Touch. 100% jojoba oil. Mm, it's marvellous. It is. It's, one, it's really excellent. Not, From one end used, to the other, isn't that, it? That's exactly, <laughs> covers all ends. Um, but it is. It's a wonderful product. And it can be used um, mainly, you know, after bathing and to uh, when you're changing their nappy, put it on their bottoms and it'll prevent the nappy rash. But not only is it for baby, we go out and we buy creams for our elbows and, and creams for our knees and, and creams for all sorts mm, of things. Dry feet, just dry any old feet, thing. everything. Well, Sister Anne, instead of having all those products, if every household had a bottle of Sister Anne's jojoba oil, we could use it for so many, so many things in the house. Yes. Well, actually, um, I think, of course, your hands would be beautifully treated while you're rubbing your oil on your baby anyway. So it's, it's a double purpose there, isn't it, it for is. the mother? It is. It's absorbed into the skin very well and doesn't mm. have... Um, um, doesn't leave any sort of oily 
residue on the top, it's actually soaked into the skin quite well. We're just having a look now at a marvellous pamphlet which can be obtained also, it's in the box I presume, of Sister Anne herself and perhaps you can just tell us a bit about this. Well the the demonstration that Sister Anne is doing on the pamphlet is, is the actual um, baby relaxation bathing and, and massaging and that pamphlet is in every bottle of the Sister Anne's jojoba oil so every mum who buys it has a, a ready-made lesson there. Oh, it's uh, a lovely pamphlet actually, look at the baby, oh I'm a clucky person, all mine have grown up almost, I mean really, <laughs> I mustn't stop, uh, I shouldn't start thinking about babies again but you have to don't you? Once, but even once, the, you know, as your children grow up there are times where they have dry skin, Some a lot of children suffer, suffer with eczema and they have creams for that so as they go on um, it's not just to stop at babies. Mm. We'll come back to Tom now. Such yes. a wonderful find. Well, you know, have a try of this. A little on the back I'd of your hand. To. It's uh, you'll see how how a small oh, drop goes such a long really? way. Really, see, a totally I'm, concentrated product. Mm, I'm so used to putting tons of stuff squeezing out of the bottle right. to get any effect, yeah. but really, that so is this, a tiny drop. Isn't this it? is a hundred percent natural product, and it's uh, cold pressed, and and it's wonderfully because it has no additives, perfumes, or or mm, any preservatives. Yeah. And it's so fine, it, you'll find by the time we finish talking to you, that's basically penetrated mm. to your skin. Actually, so it's a wonderful mm. moisturiser. I have very dry hands now. They're getting old and craggy and we all hate it, girls, don't we? Yuck. But <laughs> never mind. <laughs> but Lizzie, even before the baby's born, for the mums that are pregnant to rub on their stomachs to prevent the stretch marks. Oh, excellent. Because um, I remember hearing that years and years ago. To rub oils, something into So um, this is obviously the choice, isn't that's it? That's right. And mm. I guess for the mums who didn't have this product when they had their babies, they can use it now and uh, it, it may help. We're not saying that it'll make them disappear, mm. miracles. It doesn't, they don't, no, they won't disappear, but they can... Uh, it will help them. Yeah, it's, mm. it's important Indeed. to get the skin more elastic, mm. and uh, this is such a fine, deep, penetrating oil. Mm. I mean, it would be rather nice on your face too, after well, a shower, wouldn't it's it? it's great to take off eye makeup. Is it? Great. Mm. Without years. leaving any sort of mm. great oils mm. around, and it'll soak in and, and sort of help those... Mm wrinkles that we all have. Yes, don't we just? Hmm. But it is a wonderful See, men product. don't get as many, do they? Most men go bald, but Tom doesn't. Hmm. No, well, actually, for, actually <laughs> listen, so for, fine, men, right? for men who have a problem with shaving now, I believe men, oh, Tom, some people have a problem with that. shaving. Well, it's a wonderful uh, oil for, for dad or anybody, any male, uh, after shaving. It's a great aftershave. I use it every day, put a little bit on mm. after you finish and shaving. And these days, thank goodness, dads help with babies too, and they'll probably uh, oil the baby up and, you know, then go like this. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm being facetious, but really, lots of dads take care of the babies too. The uh, role's changing, isn't it, in the society? Well, they're encouraged to um, take part in the mm, massaging and, 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 and the baby care. And babies love to be touched and massaged, so we all have to think of that. And what better way with a lovely oil. So thank you both for being here. I hope to have you back soon. Thank you, Lily. Thank you. Now, don't forget, look for Sister Anne's jojoba oil. Well, as a bicentennial tribute to the uh, really major part that our tiny little rural schools played in uh, the late 19th century and early 20th century, the Tadiara District is holding a school's commemoration. So here to tell us all of the details of that commemoration is Betty Dempsey, who's the secretary of the uh, school's commemoration committee. Betty, welcome back to Wormsville. We did have a chat with you much earlier in the year when you were first uh, getting off the yes, ground. Yes, we did in the initial stages, uh, Penny. Yes. And now the whole lot of your work and devotion is about to bear fruit. That's <laughs> right, it is. After 18 months in our planning, we are at last coming to fruition at this coming weekend. They take a lot of planning, don't they? Getting yes, like they this do. Together? They do take a lot of planning. Perhaps just refresh our memories how you initially came together and what you decided to well, actually do. Uh, yes, initially there was a suggestion put to our Tatiara Bison Centennial Committee that in the uh, this year, that bicentennial year, we have some sort of a celebration to honour the rural schools hmm. in the Tatiara area. And interest was such throughout the district that it soon extended to encompass the whole of the district. The schools throughout the whole of the Tatiara district became involved. Hmm. And it has been a very interesting project to have been involved with. The oh, I'm sure it would. Yes. The I know. Where I live there, out on the Kennewig Road, I've heard a lot of people tell tales of how they went to school on horse and cart yes. and they couldn't get through with the water That's and right, all that sort yes. of thing. So there must be some great stories yes, that are coming up. Yes, there are out. great stories. And most of those are contained within our publication of the Tadiara Schools Commemoration, which was launched was indeed. last. In fact, I've got that little book sitting right here. Now, that was last Friday, yes, wasn't it? Yes, that was so launched last Friday, mm. yes. Um, Wonderful book. It's got all sorts of fantastic stories. Actually, over the past few weeks and months, you've had lots of wonderful little stories in the, the local paper too. Are a lot of those uh, interesting stories contained yes, in here? Yes, they would be contained in there, yes. Mm. 
We have, uh, we've had a lot of people throughout the district who have contributed to the book and given a lot of uh, history of schools and also a lot of anecdotes and, and their yeah. personal memories of yes. their school days, delightful memories of oh, school sure days. Oh, sure they would yes. be. Now, as you said, it starts this coming weekend yes. and you've, you've allotted two full days for travelling around in a bus visiting various school sites. Yes, we have. We're going to visit all sites within the district. The first two days are rather comprehensive. They're, they're fairly tightly scheduled mm. tours and we're covering all the schools within the inner area right. on the Monday, on the Sunday and the Monday. Right. And, and then uh, on, at a later time you're going to be covering a couple of the other schools? Yes, on Tuesday, we will, on the, that's the 4th, we will be going down to Pad the Way and Yalla Murray. And the following week, on the Sunday the 9th, Keith will unveil their plaque on the original site of the Mount Monster School. Mm. And as you say, the original site, there must be some of the sites there where there's just absolutely nothing left. Nothing at all, no. People will return just purely and simply for the nostalgic journey back into their old school site. Absolutely. There is absolutely nothing there, no. Were some of them a bit difficult to locate? Yes, well some of them we were, uh, well of course we've got uh, people who were involved with the schools who found the sites, but some are now in paddocks and they're yes. uh, situated in various different spots. Mm. It was, uh, even myself, I've lived in the district all my life and I must admit there was one or two that I had <laughs> has not you know, particularly heard of in the district. And have any of the sites been rebuilt, even as schools or other establishments put uh, on them? Well, there are a couple that are still in use, but most of them, the little schools, have, have long since gone. Mm. The, uh, you know, the passage of time and the advent of the school buses saw the demise of the small school. Absolutely. Yes. Now, you're going to have lots of wonderful people coming from all over the place and I noticed you're having yes. one of the original teachers who is now in her 90s. Yes, she's in her 90th year. She was the first teacher at the little school of Wilford, just uh, south of Mandala, and she's going to unveil the plaque on that particular on that site. Mm. Yes. It's going to be great, and you're kicking off your celebrations with a social evening on the Saturday night. Yes, we're going to step back in time. We're going to have an old time social with uh, dancing, with music provided by the musicians of the past who used to play many years ago. And that will be interspersed with items by mm. past students. We're going to dance the Lancers and the Alberts and do all the things that we used to do in the olden times. Oh, it sounds like we a really wonderful time, We really are looking Betty. forward to a lovely night. It's going to be a great time to renew acquaintances and reminisce and, yes, uh, and it remember. Will. And, all and that. remember. Mm. That's exactly what it's about, Penny. Wonderful. Just to remember. Betty, yes. thanks very much for coming in. Congratulations to you and your committee for getting such a wonderful commemoration together. Thank you, Penny. That's excellent. Thank you. Sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? The Tatiara Schools Commemoration. And now, here's a man who we always love to see on Woman's World. It's Graham from Diamonds Meats. How are you, Graham? Fine, thanks, Penny. And what a great range of specials we've got for you this week at Diamonds. Have a look at these. Now, this week we've got corn silverside. It's only $4.99 a kilo. Great for the warm weather, cold weather, lunches. It's terrific, hot with mustard sauce. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very economical at $4.99 a kilo. A great saving there on corn silverside this week. Also, we've got diced pork. Now, that's $5.99 a kilogram. That's an ideal base for your stir fries, pork pies, sweet and sours. Diced pork, it's lean shoulder pork, and it's only $5.99 a kilo. So once again, top value. We've also got peppered steak this week. Now, Peppered steak is absolutely delicious. It's a good quality steak, run through the tenderizer and peppered. And I'll give you a tip with this when you're cooking it. Um, cook your steak in the pan, leave the pan, the drippings in the pan, and add some cream to it. And honestly, it's delicious. You'll find the cream will make a lovely sauce together with the pan drippings, and pour it over your steak to serve, and it'll be an absolutely delicious meal. And that's only $7.99 a, a kilogram for peppered steak. Also this week we've got another super special, beef schnitzel. Now this is tender young yearling beef, uh, cut very thin, run through the tenderizer and schnitzeled, and that's only $5.99 a kilo. So once again that's top value, a quick easy meal, $5.99 a kilogram for beef schnitzel. Now here's our super special of the week. Have a look at our filet mignons. Now if you go to a restaurant, you'll probably pay, it's usually top of the top of the range, usually 10 up to $16 for a filet mignon. You can serve a beautiful filet mignon, all prepared like that, for about 
1299 a kilogram for filet mignons and it's top value and you're really living high at very low cost. Also this week we've got a super bargain for you. Now there we are, Castle Middle Bacon, top quality middle bacon, nice and lean as you can see, and that's only four ninety nine a kilogram. Now normally it's six ninety nine, but this week we're throwing it out four ninety nine a kilogram for uh, middle bacon. Tomato sausages, our snag of the week. Now you can't go wrong with these, they're ideal on the barbecue. These are a beef sausage, a barbecue sausage with tomato uh, puree added to them and that gives them a delicious flavour and something very different because after all at Diamonds we're always looking for something different. Tomato sausages for three seventy nine dollars a kilogram. Now how would you really like to impress your friends? Have a look at our chicken camembert. Now these are uh, lovely chicken breasts quite sk uh, skinless, quite meaty, and in them we've put uh, a camembert cheese and we've coated them in seasoned crumbs. They're easy cooking, very, very easy to, uh, to produce. Uh, easy cooking, and they're $12.99 a kilogram, and you'll really impress your friends. You can, you, can, uh, you can really show off with that one. Also, we've got loin of pork. Now, what I've done here, this is a loin of pork roll, and what we've done, we've got apple and prune in it and a fruit seasoning. Now it's quite boneless, it's easy to carve, easy to cook. And I'll cut this for you and give you a look at what it looks like inside because it is really something. As a matter of fact, we have this for Christmas every year. I'd sooner a loin of pork like this than anything else. So I'll just cut it through and that'll give you a, a good look at it. There we are. There's our loin of pork. You can see it's beautifully meaty. It's got an apple and prune seasoning in it and a fruit seasoning and you really can't go wrong with that. You, it'll really be a delicious meal. And that's only $7.99 a kilogram this week for the seasoned pork. Also, we've got sides of lamb. Now these are new season spring lamb. They're $1.99 a kilogram. They run from about $12, so you can see they're really, really good value. In that you get a nice big leg, the loin, jointed so as you can use it for roast or cut it into chops whichever you whichever you like and the four quarters cut into barbecue chops now they're top value at $1.99 a kilogram and they run from about $12 each also if you're looking to fill the um, the deep freeze we've got some lovely little sides of beef down there at the moment two fifty nine dollars a kilogram which is as low as I've been for some time it's top value and they run from about $155 each so there we are great value at diamonds and naturally now you can see why diamonds are a girl's best friend. Thanks very much, Graeme. And uh, with the meat like that, you're going to be assured of a great meal. And what better way to accompany a great meal with uh, some more food from Yori's Cheese and Gourmet. Welcome to Margaret. How are you? Good, thanks. How are a lot you? of specials down there at the moment, too, yes, which is what you yes. always have excellent specials. Yes, well, we've got some uh, specials today, perhaps for um, people on diet. Yep. Um, and also for those that aren't on diets. Great. So, um, perhaps <laughs> Something if we start everyone. off with the chicken first. All right. You know, we call this a special, but really they're down there all the time mm. at this price at Yoey's. And the fillets are ten twenty. They come in at when on the Wednesday, so it's no good looking for them before that. They right. have got the skin on, but ten twenty a kilo is excellent buying. Yeah. And the chicken piece is at two seventy. Mm. Now you know you can always get those down there. You know right. at Yoey's. Good. So another little special we've got is the mini coal. This is not the low coal. There is two cheeses on the market. Yeah. One's got cotton seed, but this is a soya bean oil. Oh, right. It's a cheese substitute. Yep. Now it's $9.99 a kilo. It's normally around the $12, $13 mark. So that's excellent oh, great buying. Saving. Yes. Yeah. And to go with it is its little cousin. It's still oh. the mini coal, but it's got caraway seeds oh, in it. Yummy. You might be able to pick that yeah, up that there. Sounds great. Now that'll give it a little bit of flavour. So that's mm. something a little bit different. That's just new in. All right. Also for about a month we haven't had this particular tasty cheese. It's mm -hmm. just an Australian tasty cheese. It's in about a two kilo block and it's three ninety nine a kilo. Yeah, so, so that's great. A really good sized block that yeah, you feed and the family really for about a nice three weeks. Really nice flavour too. Mm. To go back to our diets again, we've got the 
goat's milk, we have that fresh and frozen. That comes in fresh on a Thursday. So right. if you're looking for it fresh, get your supplies on mm. a Thursday and it's got about a week's shelf life. Right. Also the yoghurt and goat's cheese to go with it, something a bit different. Yogurt. That isn't black cheese, it has got a herb, fresh herb on the outside. Right. So that's something a little oh, different great. too. And I think, the Caroline, bacon? you're holding some yeah. bacon there at four ninety-five a kilo. That's the middle bacon, so that's excellent buying. Mm, great too. value. Yep. yep. And also, we have here some nuts. Um, time to start thinking about those Christmas cakes, sure soaking is. them and puddings yep. and things like that. We've got almonds at eight fifty. We've had those for a while now, and their price is still holding. Um, no, we're getting through bags of those, so <laughs> that's why we're able to sell them at that price. They're eight fifty a kilo, right. and also the walnuts halves yep. are eight fifty. Now that's excellent buying for walnut halves yeah, too. Sure is. That's the, the almonds, almonds, walnuts. Pecans are a little dearer. They are uh, thirteen twenty a kilo, but the pitted prunes are an excellent price. They're at four dollars and five cents. They're the lovely oh, right. big fat plump ones without Yummy. any stones yep. in them. And the Turkish delight. That's, people have been looking for that fellow. That mm. one's come in again <laughs> too, so that's really nice. Oh, right. Nothing died about that one. No. <laughs> Very Just pop that down there. Right. King this? Island Brie, oh. um, people have been looking for that. Uh, that most probably will shine on the camera there. I've just brought the cover up because it's so fragile it mm, will melt right. under the lights. Yep. So that's the King Island Brie from Tasmania. That's so an excellent Australian product and very popular at the moment. Mm. Another southeastern product. That looks lovely. It's um, actually a laminated board. We're starting to get a few more of these through now, getting ready for right. Christmas. It looks like a little patchwork there, doesn't it? Great idea to buy one of them and have perhaps an arrangement of yeah. cheeses or whatever lovely. made up into yeah. a platter to yes. give as a present. No, lovely idea. They mm. are really great. Oh, we're going to run out of time oh, here today. It's going quickly. Um, natural fruit is in, so pop out and have a look at that. Right. Um, I'll just perhaps run through these, yep. we're going to run right. out. Um, the Erica Savory Tarts, that's a new line in, the little square ones instead mm -hmm. of the boats. We have those as well, but yep. that's a great new idea. Right. Terrific new Chef Pierre um, essences. Mm -hmm. They are um, oh, apple calvados, all sorts of things, and mm. they're really worthwhile. And look, there's about 12 different flavours in there, and they're right. really great. And the trusty baskets that yes. you make up. Don't forget our baskets at Yowie's. All They're that for $15. And yes. Margaret's just bought in. This is what you get for $15. This is what is inside the basket. And you could hardly buy that separately for that amount. Well, so we don't charge for making them up. We only charge for the goods that are there. Mm. And I thought, well, each week we come in now before Christmas, so people think about us at Christmas yep. time, is to just give you an idea. And this What's week inside? it is for, if you're going away to visit friends, what better gift could you give than something like yep. that? You could all share or leave Because something for the home. whole family yes, in that yeah. one with shortbreads and, and cheese. And that's certainly cheap night's accommodation for $15. For sure, because, yeah, $15 all yeah. those goodies in the basket and you can pick and choose whatever you want yes, in it yeah. and uh, there's so much to choose from out there it's absolutely it great, amazing yeah. so for any of those sort of things cheeses or any little delights that you want for your cooking do pop out because uh, there's so much out there you have to go in and it has to be seen to be believed thanks very much Margaret thanks very much, Caroline. and don't forget you always gourmet cheese and gourmet for all your cooking requirements thank you I've got some notices for you now. A family woolshed dance will be held at Trevor Brown's Woolshed, Nelson Road, Drick Drick, on Saturday, and it will commence with a barbecue tea and a bonfire at 6 pm. That will then be followed by a dance at 7 pm. Admission is $6 per family, $3 a single, and $1.50 for pensioners and children. And uh, that ticket price includes Ron Bell's band from Hamilton, dances, games, and prizes for children. Bring your own. Uh, barbecue meat and salad and ladies a plate of supper please and of course everybody is most welcome. The Pine Tree Quilters will meet tomorrow on uh, September 29th at the Red Cross Rooms from 10am till 3pm. Anyone interested in patchwork and quilting is welcome and please take along your own lunch. <coughs> Excuse me. And an invitation to all 1988 debutantes who wish to participate in the South East Debutante of the Year please contact Miss Jane Lucas on 332-516 or Elaine Williams on 382-340. Debs will be presented at the Italian Club in Millicent on Friday, October 14th. And, <coughs> excuse me, there are excellent prizes and a sash to be won, having a bit of a tickle in the throat. And don't forget the 112th Border Town Show on Saturday with heaps of events and entertainment, including a disco from 6 to 8 p.m. and fashion parades by the Wool Corporation. 
For further details, phone Rosemary Hunt on 521 347. That's Rosemary Hunt 521 347. That's all our notices for today, and do let us know if you've got a function coming up. We'd love to let you know right here on Woman's World. Just about the end of the program again, Karen. Just about the end of September. Yes. So certainly. people will have to get their recipe in if they mm, really well, want to be involved in our cookbook. Certainly a lot of cookery ideas on the show today. Mm, and tomorrow absolutely. we'll be announcing our last uh, winner of the week, the last winner of our $50 vouchers. So then we'll be closing off entries and then we'll be uh, compiling our cookbook. Mm, which should be a lot of fun, so mm. I look forward to that. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll look forward to your company. Another Thanks, half Karen. an hour, our last yep. half an hour last tomorrow. Last half an hour, yes. So I'll look forward <laughs> to your company then. And I hope that you can join us for our last half an hour at one o'clock tomorrow, Thursday, for Woman's World. Stay tuned to 8 now for Days of Our Lives. After that, we take you back to Seoul for more Olympic action. And at five o'clock, the children's program, Vid Kids. things and don't